Mother of Salvation. This war, to uphold the word of God, will mean that those priests, who do remain true to him, will have to seek refuge. Monday, August 5, 2013 at 1.05 p.m. My dear children, this is going to be a time of great trials in your faith. The Catholic Church will be the church in which the great division will commence. It will be in this church that my son's priests will suffer the most, during the great apostasy, which it will, very soon, have to endure from within. To those of my son's faithful priests, who will be torn in two by indecision, you must be aware of the need to remain in union with the merciful Christ. You must never feel tempted to desert his church, by accepting falsities from those amongst you who have fallen into grave error. You must revere my son at all costs and lead his people on the path to holiness, no matter how difficult this will be for you. Those of you who will continue to perform the traditional Mass will be tormented until you agree to abandon it entirely. Many amongst your religious orders will betray you to the enemy behind your back. You will, just like my son before you, be taken before those who claim to be your peers and be accused of heresy, for insisting on continuing to show respect for the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. The new words, which will amount to the most vile desecration of my son's body, will be forced down upon those sacred servants who dare to object. It will be within the Catholic Church that brother will fight brother, sister against sister, father against son, children against parent, until there are two sides. This war, to uphold the word of God, will mean that those priests, who do remain true to him, will have to seek refuge. To do this you must start preparing and find such places where you will be able to offer the Holy Mass and provide the sacraments to God's children. I, the Mother of Salvation, will protect such refuges and by the placement of the seal of the living God, given to the world by my Father, on the inside walls, they will remain invisible to the enemies of God. Do not be afraid of these things, because if you prepare well, you will lead God's children to salvation. Should you not heed this warning, you will be taken captive in mind, body and soul, by the enemies of my son and salvation will not be yours. Those who do the bidding of the false prophet will need much prayer, for some of them are blind to the truth. Others, who will know the truth, but who will side with those who will deny my son's death on the cross, are to be feared. They will inflict terrible harm on the innocent followers of Christ. By remaining loyal to the truth, you will lead my son's remnant army, so that it becomes a formidable force, against the evil one and those he directs in his fight against my son's true servants on earth. You must, when the time comes, refuse to accept direction from those who will desecrate the word of God and through their lies and new obscene doctrines, will mislead many. Those who accept any distortion of the Mass or the Holy Sacraments, will be answerable to my Son. For you will have become, unwitting, servants to the evil one and many, many, souls will be lost, for they will be drawn into rituals, which will pay homage to Satan. These rituals will honor the false prophet and the Antichrist, who are enemies of God. Pray, pray, pray that the truth will be seen and that lies will be exposed for what they are, an affront to my son's agonizing crucifixion. Your beloved mother. Mother of salvation.